Every year around March, deep in the Nevada desert, there occurs a supernatural phenomenon known as pool season. Vegas pool parties are like those nightclub orgy porn videos, you know, that just kind of populate on your related videos, or you might like these. <laughs> Except you don't have to go to Brazil and you don't have to dress like a bear to get laid. And this year, Zach and I are answering the call of the wild. Uh, and by wild, I mean our friend DJ Blau, who has invited us to his season opening pool party at Wet Republic. The only downside is, in order to get there, we have to make the horribly boring migration across the desert from LA to Vegas. But here at RPM, we do not settle for boring. So we have concocted another harebrained road trip experience. I can say that confidently, it's an experience. I don't think it could be called anything else. The thing with the drive to Vegas though is it's pretty boring for like 200 miles on just a straight road in the desert so you just like, I want to party so bad. So we want to obviously make it a little more fun because we're going to do some challenges along the way. We got Zach's Ford over here, truck guys, car guys, let's do it. Does this look right to you? Which, let me see. No. No, that looks very wrong. I'll just, I'll figure it out. Just follow me-ish. Follow me-ish. Well, I'll just put Vegas in for now. Yeah. So if you've never been to Vegas, uh, it's like Area 51 from Independence Day. Hordes of people travel across the desert to barricade themselves in a fortress, cut off from humanity, and party like the world is ending. So in this circumstance, that would make me Will Smith, the guy who is highly unqualified to drive space vehicles, but does it anyway. Zach is Randy Quaid, the drunk pilot who flies his jet into the asshole of the alien mothership. And Blau is Bill Pullman, the president who gets everyone amped the fuck up to go to war. We will not go quietly into the night. We will definitely not go quietly into the night. That is for goddamn certain. Welcome to Earth. Now Zach is taking the girls. How do you feel about that? I don't want to have to listen to Beaver on the way there. Beaver? <laughs> oh, this Beaver in my ear. He looks like a dad taking some girls to like Disney for the day. We would just spend four hours together, Leah. We're gonna go find some spots and seeing what kind of uh, shit we can get into. Maybe a little drag race between the two of us. Have I ever driven a truck? You driven Missouri? Are you kidding me? Without going off of the road or crashing. It seems like a pretty sturdy truck, but Zach is a pretty shifty dude. Chances that he's not gonna break it, or I'd say 50-50 at best. Hey, it's the snowman, come on in, what's the 20? Snowman, this is Bandit 1. <laughs> cool. You are way too good at this. Listen to him. Like this, I, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what Zach sounded like before he moved to Los Angeles. There is a taste of time, sweet and honey, down this seven bridges road. So we're making a pit stop to see some local attractions. This is a bottle tree ranch, so apparently it's a ranch with a bunch of trees made out of bottles. Garbage ranch. The fact is the drive to Vegas is just pretty dull, so gotta make it interesting somehow. What? Oh wait, we going the wrong way? Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, my GPS has me going down this road here. Where's yours taking you? Straight down this road and it'll hit the highway. Let me make sure we're going the right place. It's definitely, it's a dead end. Uh, so we basically, we just gotta go back. I highly regret taking your advice on that. Clearly we have established that my advice is generally terrible. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Mirror won't go down. I guess it's in. Watch this. 
You never want to hear that coming out of Zach's mouth. No. <laughs> it looks like he just crashed. Sick move, Zach. You really gave it your all. Real cool. Real badass. You see me drive up here? Better, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we just had to turn the fuck around. Dude. I fucking hate him. Thanks a lot, you fucking douche. Look at my car. It was just the thickest cloud of dust coming. It was like I had a race to get the window up before it just flowed in here. What a dick. Got a couple challenges we want to do on the way. We're doing one short drag race, Zach's truck versus my car, with the traction control completely off. Zach is thinking that, and we'll be able to just get that short course before my wheels stop spinning and I get some traction and see what actually happens. I'm actually curious. I think they're gonna spin for quite a while. And then, then we got the shortcut. So we're gonna find a place where Zach is gonna take a shortcut off road and I'm gonna stay on road and I have to do the speed limit. If he can get ahead of me, then he wins. This is the road Zach picked out for us to do our drag racing. A little wary about it. The gravel just kicking up into my car. You ready for your lesson? What's my lesson? I'm gonna do a little drag race. I'm gonna show you how to get out of the hole with that thing. You gotta get the drag Me? Yeah. With this? Yeah, okay. Why don't, you, why don't you set the fucking course there, big big dog? Here's the deal. Okay. Obviously, you have a nearly 600 horsepower sports car, and this is a full-size truck with a six-cylinder motor, right? <laughs> but drag racing is all about getting out of the hole, right? So we're going to see if I can get this to Kaylee down there faster than you can. Right. Only thing is you can't use traction control. Gotcha. It's not. It's not too. It's not too long. You're right. Like yeah. it's a good chance you'll be there before I even get off the line. Let's find out. The idea of just all this gravel hitting my car is sucking the fun right out of it. But that's what we're here to do. Right? This is definitely enough time for me to get traction and just smoke it. It is uh, all systems go for fuckery. <laughs> You won! I was spinning for a bit. We straight? Okay, so what what are we doing here? drag racing for one day. Safety first is always a good idea on second thought. So we're leaving the diner and we are on the last stretch to Vegas. Zach is gonna find a point in which to go off road. He's gonna take that off road course and go as fast as he's willing to go. As soon as he goes off road, I have to do the speed limit until I find Zach again. Now, if he gets in front of me, then he wins. You ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. Mike, why are you going the right way? We just gotta make sure that, that we can access this road, and I don't think there's an actual exit off the highway, so we're gonna have to just drive off of the highway. I think he's gonna try it. All those bushes. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh. Have you ever gone off-roading? Oh, awesome, all right, we got a lot of firsts today. So this is basically what you do, you just find a road and you just see how aggressively you can drive on it without breaking anything in your car. That's the trick. 
The problem is with these desert roads, a lot of times you get washouts, you all of a sudden to wind up coming up on just like a fucking ravine. Whoa. This doesn't have four wheel drive today. Nope. Just be careful of the fucking. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, just practicing for the fucking Baja 1000 over. Holy shit! Oh, no! Here. Hopefully find somewhere that connects. Kaylee, can you look that up on your phone to see if there's any sort of GPS that says where the fuck this road is and where it might end? Yeah, you're gonna be stuck out there. By the way, going 70 miles per hour. Come on. I feel like I'm crawling. Well, there's telephone poles, which tells me that this is at least a service road, so it does go somewhere. Hopefully it's not to some, like, meth cook's fucking <laughs> secret spot. <laughs> That's definitely not what we need. This does look really fucking sketchy, though. Hills have eyes right now. We are, we are completely off the map. Is that some meth mixer, like, from the find a way out of here when it doesn't involve us getting like skinned alive. He's not gonna be able to make it, there's nothing, there's nothing here. Now we are fucking moving! It's definitely gonna cut a few miles off the trip. I think if we could just keep with this pace, we could fucking get a bunch out. Not gonna get gas. They would just love to see Zach plow out of the, the fucking woods over there. Oh dude, fuck yeah. Yeah. Can you help it? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! We're back! God damn it, snowman! God damn it! So, this is for you. Gift. And I got this for you. Oh my god. Do it. Do it. Oh no. Oh no. Payback. <laughs> Zach is the same exact Jaeger face every time. Uh, we're at Justin's Palace. <laughs> it looks like, this looks like Atlantis. They finally found it and it was sitting in Las Vegas. I was saying I've never seen such a decadent apartment complex. Zach. <laughs> 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 Come on, just a little bit of shots and we'll go up to my room. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome to my robe and bath. <laughs> Go on down. <laughs> It should be a good day today, though. The weather's pretty good, so it's a little windy. We're concerned about the drone, so. Oh. Oh, damn, it's so windy. <laughs> <laughs> It 
iffy. I was like super confident at first. I didn't know anything about the, the 2016 or 17 uh, Jaguar F-Types. And his is all-wheel drive. That's not weighing too heavily in my favor. But we'll see what, what I can wrangle out of this, baby. Hopefully a win. Hopefully a win is what I can wrangle out. A month ago, there was no construction over here. Okay. If, no, if there was no construction up here, it would've been cool, but... Yeah. Just blowing dust everywhere. Look at it, they got like a fucking tornado going on. I don't know about this. 0 for 2. Part of the game though, right? Let's see what Zach's gotta say. What wisdom he's gotta impart. We're gonna go to my spot, it's also on the way back to LA. Okay. And, like, I, I just know that we can do what we need to do out there. Okay. Good? Yeah. I don't think Mike's gonna be able to fly his drone in this. Oh, I normally run the other direction when it comes to putting trust in Zach. Well, let's listen to what he has to say. Cool, what does he have to say? Let's do the exact opposite. <laughs> it looks like we have no choice now. It's looking more and more promising. We, we literally just had a car coming up with us on the road. Like a drag race down both lanes. Okay. Bye. This is Zach's idea of fine. This is, this is why I'm always skeptical of Zach's ideas, because like his idea of fine is much different than everyone else's idea of fine. Like, fine is a road where there aren't cars on it. I mean, this isn't that bad, though. Let There's me take a look. Let me see what's going you on. Could, you could we could probably get away with it here. Oh, my God. But it's only the only issue is that it's... it's uh... There we go. This is it. Literally two cars pass by. Like, yeah, this is a great spot for a yeah, drag race. Just, let's get head on. You know? <laughs> it's a head on drag race. Yeah. Let's play chicken with oncoming cars. It's funny because like if we all agreed to it, we would have started doing it, you know? This is this is turning out poorly. <laughs> I just got a car wash. What is the pressure pretty fast? It's definitely, oh my god, dude. He definitely like ran over a rock yeah. or something. We should just head back to LA. So we're calling it quits, packing it in, heading back to LA. But first, some donuts. I mean, overall, you could say the trip was 75% of failure. In this situation, when you're doing it, when it's happening currently, you're like, this is all falling apart. This sucks. Nothing is working out. Things are breaking. But then looking back on it, you're like, that's what made it memorable. Because if you set out to do something fun and you have a, a good attitude about it, even if it fails, you're gonna have a, a memorable time at the very least. And we definitely did. We went to Vegas and we just rolled the fucking dice. Will this plan work out? Maybe, maybe not. Let's just, let's just let them dice fly. And the house won house music you know you gamble you play cards you play you play dice and you're like i want it i want to do this because i want to win money and if i don't i'm going to be upset but this was like i'm going to roll these dice because rolling dice is fucking awesome and i'm having a great fucking time doing it 